Hi everyone. So today I'm going to talk about um, the controversy of the Produce series. Most notably that there is a voting manipulation um, very prevalent in the season 3 which is the Produce 48 and now they have debuted the group under the name iZone and the fourth season which is the Produce X which they have debuted um, another group called X1 so if you haven't know what the controversy was you can check out the YouTube to know further but overall this is going to be my reaction and my personal comment and opinion about um, the future of the both groups so CZM and which is a parent company of Mnet Entertainment which produced this series have already held a press conference to um, discuss what they are going to do uh, and also the future of the both group which are still active so the CEO say that they are going to compensate um, trainees who didn't get to debut Miu <laughs> and Gaon, I'm so sorry but I, you know they say that you know trainees who whose rank were manipulated are going to get money and this money will come from you know all the profits that have been collected as well as the future profit plus they are going to get you know like kind of support maybe you know free broadcasting fee in mnet i'm not sh really sure about that like they just say support and so that is the thing well uh i guess to be honest i think this is kind of like a win-win situation of course there are many ways to you know like how mnet can respond first they can disband the whole group right disband the group and you know people get on the way um of course, some people argue that this is one of the best thing because you know you can't let people who you know, like corrupted groups get into there. Um, I'm not really sure how many members were swapped in between and how corrupted, but you know, like it's not fair for members and fans who have supported the real members who really got into the lineup. So. That being said that you know like they also deserve what they got right and also people say like well okay then you know like mnet can release the real lineup and just swap the members who did who did have to get in with the members who did not get in hmm this is very serious and in the business perspective i don't think that you know it will go well because um members who were swapped in like of course they will get support right but then in the at the same time it's pretty uncomfortable for you know like Azon member or x1 member mm. also you know trainees who let's say like get their rank manipulated we also get a lot of hate comments so it's not really good for them and you know how the k netizen are very very harsh on you know um bad like bad comments so i don't think that's really a good one either so i think by compensating in terms of money of course it doesn't sound really good right but i feel like this is a more win-win situation for both trainees who didn't get in as well as who members of the active groups because let's see um there are a dozen of fans who support the group right so they can pay money and the more popular or the more money that they get in because mnet already said that they are not going to get any profit of it i'm not sure whether it's correct or not the money will be given to trainees who didn't get in and you know they can use that money to capitalize on um, training or even like their debut preparation so it's a win-win situation of course rather than you know you disband the whole group and um, let's say they say disband the group and they give the compensation either 
like it's not really it's like a win and lose right what about the members who get in who are supposed to who have who are already supposed to get in they cannot really participate they cannot really get into the public anymore it's not really fair so in my opinion i think um the ceo did take a measurement and it needs to be you know like um, at least they are willing to compensate and they are not going to take any profit which is really nice and i'm so happy that izone and x1 can continue i wish at least that izone can have you know like farewell concert to fans who have supported them for the past one year for x1 um i'm so sorry for them especially for those who have been in a high ranking like kim yohan um i don't think that they can continue that long in terms of the public sentiment and because i think that the produce four they have a lot of members who get swapped in and i think for the produce 48 i think just like three or four members but i think for produce x there are a lot of members who rank were manipulated so um i'm, I'm looking forward to the comeback of izon and i'm happy that justice prevails and now they are going to um, take responsibility. At least this is, you know, like this is a gesture of them taking responsibility. I'm not sure how they are going to compensate, but it's a good one. Sorry for the long video. But yeah, if you have any comments or opinions that are contradicting my opinion, please do so in the comments. But please don't attack me. Again, this is a personal opinion. If you think you have a better one or you want to correct something, please do so in a respectful manner. Thank you.